To achieve its goal of becoming a global digital leader, South Korea is investing heavily in tech startups. In the third episode of her Digital Korea series, our Shin Yeun visits some innovative small companies to see how they are shaping the country's digital vision. Soon, this is how we'll get our goods delivered to us here in Korea, through autonomous drones. This drone is South Korea's first ever convenience store delivery drone. It can hold up to five kilograms of goods and fly up to 25 minutes. There's even more autopilot drones getting ready for takeoff. As you can see, they're all different in size and they all have very distinctive traits. For instance, this one can fly up to 140 kilometers, the longest flight distance for any drone here at Pablo Air. Pablo Air jumped into the unmanned aerial vehicle market in 2018. Though it's a startup, it's one of the first companies in Korea to enter this growing market. That's why it's asking for government support. Companies like us play an important role in making Korea into the strongest digital leader in the world. That's because we're on the forefront of developing new technologies and showing them off globally. We would like for the government to give us the appropriate support, whether that be providing information on any regulations or laws we need to keep in mind, or by giving out subsidies. That's exactly what the government is trying to do. To create a new digital order, we need to have high-quality tech in areas like AI, data, software and cloud services. We hope companies can bring these things to the table. We're trying to expand ways for startups and small and medium-sized enterprises to collaborate with larger companies. We're also trying to help more companies go global. Like Sendbird, a chat conversation platform company that launched in Korea but soon moved its headquarters to the United States. Uh, so for those companies who are thinking about going global, just like Sendbird, I think they need to take a risk, but also understand how strong we are in terms of our talent standpoint. The government aims to focus on developing more tech talent and human resources, mainly by expanding the number of classes or schools specializing in software and AI education. By 2026, officials hope to nurture a million prodigies in the digital sector. Shin Yeun, Arirang News.